Uh, I was shocked at the blatant violation of one of the most fundamental principles of our democracy, that the people, the voters, get to elect elected officials. I've been elected twice to serve as state attorney, and I've served as state attorney, and I've done it well. Crime is down. We're protecting people's rights. We have fought so hard for public safety and fairness and justice. If the governor thinks he can do a better job, then he should run for state attorney, not president. Sir, can you describe where you were and what happened and how you got the news and you know what happened after that? I was doing the work that I was elected to do as state attorney. I was focused on delivering justice to Linda and her family that they've been waiting 39 years to get. I was making sure that everything went as it was supposed to today with charging these cases, and I was overseeing an office of 300 people that keep 1.5 million people safe in Hillsborough County. So the governor wants to do his sideshow with his cronies. I'm the one who's upholding the law and keeping the community safe. Are you planning on challenging this suspension, and where do you go from here? I, I haven't even looked at the order yet, because I woke up to do my job today, and that's exactly what I did. Now, I've heard it contains a lot of conjecture and lies, and just based on the governor's track record with unconstitutional orders, I have a feeling that this is going to be just as unconstitutional as the 15-week ban abortion, the anti-protest law, and a dozen other things that the governor signed. What kind of precedent do you think this potentially The governor is trying to overthrow the results of a fair and free election. Two of them, actually. And people need to understand. This isn't the governor trying to suspend one elected official. This is the governor trying to overthrow democracy here in Hillsborough County. What's your response to the governor saying that you're putting yourself above the law, essentially, by signing those letters saying that you wouldn't prosecute abortion cases or enforce bans on uh, uh, pre-assignment surgeries for uh, youths? So again, I didn't see the governor's press conference, the circus, whatever he put out there. When I know if you want to talk about the abortion ban, when I became state attorney, I put my hand on the Bible, and I swore to uphold the U.S. and the Florida Constitution. And under the Florida Constitution, the 15-week abortion ban is unconstitutional. And it's not just me saying that. It is a court of law that has said that. The governor's bill has already been thrown out. Now, it's subject to other appeal. But while the governor is hoping that the Supreme Court ignores the law in Florida, I'm the one upholding the law. I'm the one protecting people's rights. I'm the only one at this moment who's actually making sure that we are following the law in Hillsborough County. Are you worried that this project will be the last, the one we just saw you discuss here, are you worried this will be your last major project as state attorney? No. Do you have a response to Sheriff Thomaster and the other law enforcement officials who spoke out against you at the news conference this morning? Basically I, agreeing with, with Governor DeSantis' stance. Again, I didn't, I didn't see what they said. I didn't hear what they said. I do think the irony is a little rich. I heard Chief Dugan was there, excuse me. He was. Former Chief Dugan was there. The man who opposed his own detectives looking into this cold case, the man who tried to obstruct this investigation to deliver the justice that these families deserve, he's talking about who's following the law. That's some rich irony. Have you had any abortion cases brought to you, gender reassignment, surgeries, anything like that? Any cases involved with what the governor talked about? We've had none. None of those cases have been brought to us. We're not anticipating those cases being brought to us. You should go ask the sheriff whether he's had those cases and whether they're investigating and arresting people for that. Because when they do and they bring us a case, we'll evaluate it and we'll evaluate that case on the merits like every other single case we do in the office. But at this point, again, from what I've heard, the governor's order is just based on pure conjecture and lies about what he thinks I'm going to do with cases that haven't even come before me yet. Trying to make an example, kind of a, a chilling action here? I think the governor is trying to make a good impression on the Iowa caucus voters for 2024. Can you say more about Chief Dugan? Which, which invest, I thought the Linda Lancer or was a Hillsborough Sheriff's Office case. So the Barbara Grand's investigation is Tampa Chief. Police okay. Department. Okay. The end of the order talks about you packing up your things. Have you done that? No, I uh, haven't yet. Are there plans to do that? You're obviously still here holding this press conference, people just questioning, you know, do you plan to step down or have someone take over for you? Uh, again, I haven't even looked at the order yet, so I don't even know where to start with all the nonsense that the governor's throwing out tonight. But you think you'll be, I mean, I, you, you said no to my question, so you think you'll be back doing this job as state attorney at some point? 
I'm still doing this job as state attorney. I'm the twice duly elected state attorney of Hillsborough County, and the governor signing something with a pen or a crayon doesn't change that. You're still doing the job as state attorney. What, what do you mean by that? Are you going to be? I mean, do you have power to still decide on prosecutions? I, I'm still the duly elected state attorney of Hillsborough County. Next question. All right. Thank you very much, everyone.